All right, so what's up, fellas? Uh, it's been a while since we played Dying Light 2. At least it's been a while for me. I know you guys have been watching the uploads, but... Oh shit, an inhibitor is over here. So, we're gonna continue on with the next part of the story, which is uh, Observatory. It's the story quest. And I, I played a little bit just to like get my bearings back because it's been a while since I've played this game. And let me tell y'all, it's it's been fun. I've I forgot how much fun this game can be, and I'm actually really excited. This is like the easiest one I found. Okay. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the about the dying light videos. It's been a lot of fun editing them. If I'm being honest, though, I kind of want to play uh, Elden Ring again, which we will. We will get back to Elden Ring. I think like today or tomorrow we'll start playing Elden Ring again because I do want to finish it. Also, let me know how my audio is because I've been noticing from my Elden Ring videos that for some weird reason. Uh, my audio keeps cutting out. Um, minefield. Did I say minefield? I mean, fuck it. Let's go. Let's see. I might get scared. Because, uh, like, a random explosion coming up will, will, like, legit scare the shit out of me. So, okay, cool. We're just liars out here. People just be lying about shit. Oh, 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 oh. oh fuck. This place got fucked up. Yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. Who won? Major Matt, Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Oh. Come to the ship. To the main HQ. Oh, God damn it. I'll be there soon myself. All right. Uh, what the? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bro, I'm turning. That's that's all that there is to it is I'm turning. There's my blood, I think. What the f Let's get the hell out of here, Greg. Hey. Hey, wait. Stay away. Hey. Oh. What the fuck just happened here? Okay, so we have access to the wharf, or specifically this place, I think. Probably shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, biomarker. I have my biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I can respect the officer that does... He's been this place since before old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm. He's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. Go see my. Uh, uh, thanks. Also, sorry, I had to take my vitamins. Because I'm an old man, and I need to take my vitamins. Um. 
It might be because of what happened in the old Villador. Which makes sense. Because I fucked old Villador up. Hey, where's dispatch? There. Did I need a cutscene for that? Take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast and easy. Go, go, go. They've already attacked two of our camps. We'll do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Surprised you didn't punch the shit out of them. Hello. Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Hey, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. You're Missy? What did those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Uh, this again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Thank you. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, <clears throat> and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other, and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Oh. Pretty much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Okay, let's just... <laughs> Field. He came a good lead in old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Fuck, that's Major Matt. Ready, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck! Oh Hater's in really bad shape. Save him! You Take him to the infirmary! Summon the medics! Die. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in old Villador. I Dr. wonder how. I don't. Oh. Why are you still here, bro? <laughs> Fucking leave. <laughs> I swear. Like this man has balls of steel because I would have been like, all right, yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm not I'm not fucking with y'all, even though it was not my fault. But fucking Ator will be like, yeah, no, I still hate you, bro. Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. Uh, you know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then they passed on to Ator. What happened in old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butchering of men, whatever they're planning. Okay. But over the radio, you said you have information for me. I, I'm, I'm yes, nervous. Before we get down to that. Oh, no. Tell me, Aiden. What do you need this database for? What does it contain? <sighs> if you don't fuck it. I'm looking at my sister. <clears throat> what happened to her? Bro! A time ago, Waltz heard her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Yes. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. 
We picked up the trail of one death right before the renegade attack. <clears throat> Sounds promising. When I find the scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another and another until you get the answers you're looking for. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I don't know what to do. Ultra attack for a reason. I want to make sure the city is safe, no matter what. I believe Jack. <coughs> sir? You okay? Right, sir. Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. You dying or something? Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. That was pretty cool. All right, Jack. That's pretty cool. And he said, bro, if you get the fuck out of here, we try to be cool as fuck. I bet the moment I left, he was like, was that cool, Corporal? Was that cool? And he's like, yes, sir. That was really cool. Remember, Jack. Like, okay, Jack, that was cool. Why am I here? Bro, it's the fact that Ator is alive. Which, I, I, in and of itself, I'm not, like, really surprised or anything. Like, that's cool. I liked Ator until, like, you know, he was like, Urgh. But, I mean, Ator is cool. Like, I, I do like him. He's way better than the twin, the fucking siblings. They're pieces of shit. Um, I also appreciate that you can actually use money in this game. And it's not, like, ridiculous amounts. Like, in fucking Dying Light 1. <clears throat> told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. Is it the... Uh... A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan. I needed that. The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Okay. That's good, I bet. I get it. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're going to light it up with UV lamps. Okay, let's get going. <clears throat> they would be if Juan from supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide and seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. Then when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. This is like, this is that like old gen style of making games, dog. Like, do I have to do that? Unless it has like a really cool story, but I mean, I doubt it. I 
Um. Oh shit! Is it like my new light? Okay. Oh, it's one. All right. It's 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 probably gonna be more useful than than uh than whatever one has. Dude, we're already seventeen minutes in. We just. Whatever. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Reyna is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Reyna's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Homegirl, these hands are equal rights, equal fights. I have no issue beating someone up. Matt's not gonna be you happy. Hear that song? Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Fucking prisoners have better conditions. The one? Hayden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Uh, anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I look for him there. Hey, I don't like that. If I can kill him, I'm gonna kill him. I don't appreciate that. I don't know why. I'm like I'm thinking about a a lot of things because I, I. So the funny thing is, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start putting putting up the dying light two and uh, Elden Ring. Like those are gonna be the two video two. Those are gonna be the two things that I'm gonna be doing on my my, ch my channel. And uh, I do still want to keep doing Destiny 2 because that's like something I still do. Um, Final Fantasy is also something I want to do, but I'm like working on it because I want to make the videos in a certain way, which I still haven't even recorded because I have I needed to do stuff. Let's just say it's going to be a big ass process. Um, like just to give you guys like a taste, uh, I'm going to make a video of... Uh, of some fashion that I've done for Final Fantasy, like specifically like ninja, ninja fashion, um, samurai fashion, stuff like that. So that's why it's been taking me a while because I've had to level up my characters and get the armor, so stuff like that. Uh, and then I want to like record it very theatrically. That's another thing. Oh, he gay? Juan Rainer. You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you from Meyer and the commander. And my name's- I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you, including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please. Make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can send his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? 
And that's when I get a knife, stick it to his throat and be like, I can offer you a fucking pathetic life. If you don't give me what the fuck I want, I will destroy you and your business. Oh no. French lady, as your fucking secretary, she's the first one to die. Oh no. Bro. But he, but he's gonna say something like, "Well, let me do a fucking quest for you, so I can show you something stupid like that." Now that I think about it, Juan's just kind of be like, "Whatever," like kind of brush it off. Let's see. Let's find out. Court martial. Oh, I can man. do that, right? Oh, Aiden, you disappoint me. A court martial, bro. It threatened his life. Uh, Alternative: get the knife and then just stick it right in his fucking dick and be like, bro, do you wanna use this still? Do you want to? Like, I fucking cut this shit out. You won't die. Especially if I, you know, make sure you don't. She'll be fucking dickless forever. Oh no! <laughs> if Aiden doesn't come off with his a court martial. You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? Bro, is 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 Juan wearing like old timey like a uh, shirt from like back in the 1800s, bro? A week look, without me, look, look. and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Uh, bro, supply is everything. Try again, this man. motherfucker. This time. <sighs> I'm. I I hate this. I hate this. It would have been so easy. Juan acts tough, but bro, like every every. <laughs> Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim, but you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm -hmm. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Like, it could have been so easy, bro. Like, why are you asking? This is the apocalypse, bro. Fucking just... That's a negative point for this game. I'm just gonna say, like, it's... It would have been so easy to grab a knife, just stick it to his throat, and even cut him a little and be like, I don't even give a fuck, dog. I'll kill you if I have to. I don't really give a shit about the peacekeepers, about the renegades. I don't give a fuck about your city, your shitty worthless life, and how much you think it's nice. Tell me what I want, or I will fucking murder you here and make sure this place burns to the fucking ground. Bro. Easy clap, he would have been like, you wouldn't do it. And I'd be like, test me, bro, please. I don't want to work for the PKs. <sighs> and now I gotta do a fucking whole rigmarole. Yes. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm. That'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? <laughs> no, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. 
Why don't That's you come true. and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. I It's weird cuz like I don't know I don't know if I like like her as a character. Go find some art. And I don't know if that's because it's an actual actress, like a real person, which I don't know if that's fair or not on my point, but I also don't give a fuck if it's fair or not. Like, it's just weird. Oh. Like, I don't know. She's definitely not a terrible character. It's just the fact that it's like, oh, well, you're, a, you're an actress. Like, I actually know I've seen some of your shit. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm like impressed or not. I don't know. Definitely gives me the same vibe as when they put a uh, Vin Diesel in the uh, Ark Survival Evolved trailer too. And I'm just like, why? Like, why did Vin Diesel have to be in this? Like, the only actor I think that like actually I don't really give a fuck about was the dude from uh... oh, what's it called? 